Hello, we are group 792-6, The Ambitious Animals. The series follows Coco, a young manager and her team at Management Incorporated, which is a fairly successful ink supply company. Throughout each episode, Coco and her team will encounter new, common challenges in the workplace and, using various skills between different characters, overcome these challenges. Each episode is independent from the other and tells a complete story. The target audience for this series is younger, less experienced employees at the start of their careers, as well as college-age young adults about to graduate and start their careers. We feel that these people will be able to relate to Coco and her struggles as a young manager. Our show can also relate to others who are more experienced in the workforce. This series gives them a nostalgic feel because they understand what it was like for them when they were just starting out. This series strives to help people in similar situations by offering up solutions to common workplace challenges. Some of these challenges discussed in our series include formalization, differentiation strategies, and the managing of human resources. Coco is a new college graduate who is extremely ambitious and will be faced with the challenge of leading her team to success in her new manager position at Management Inc. In her attempt to prove herself as a worthy manager, Coco tries to focus most of her attention on technical aspects of the company, which will include a thorough understanding on her behalf of procedures, processes, and equipment functions. Coco also demonstrates interpersonal skills as well as conceptual skills while keeping in mind that since she is new to her managerial position, she will need to be extra attentive to her surroundings. Willie is friendly, but he also knows when it's time to get down to business. He is an upper level management for Management Incorporated. Willie was the one who thought of the idea to hire Coco. He thinks that Coco has a lot of potential, but will be watching her closely in order to see how she uses her technical, interpersonal, and conceptual skills to solve the problems that she encounters as a new manager. He is hoping to see great things from her. He is also a leader, but his team is made up of a different lower-level managers in the corporation of which Coco is a part of. Willie loves to see his team succeed and will do anything in his power to make sure it does. Samson is a young, intelligent employee that has been with the company for a few years in a lower-level position. He is hardworking, but has yet to completely hone his skills. He wanted the management position that Coker received, but was passed over because he lacked some of the necessary interpersonal skills to be a successful manager. His major flaw is that he is a critic. He enjoys finding others' mistakes, but instead of giving helpful feedback, he just identifies problems with no intent of helping his co-workers fix them. He never admits it to anyone, but Samson realizes that Coco is right for the management position. It is his bitterness towards Coco that will ultimately hold him back. Character Development Thomas Thomas is a seasoned worker who has been at the company for a few years. He started a few years after Willie and works very well with him. Thomas serves as Willie's eyes and ears in the floor of the organization. Thomas is a steady worker, usually completing projects ahead of schedule, and has shown in his steady work that given a specific set of instructions he will accomplish the task at hand. This allows him a certain level of autonomy, tenure, and clout within the organization. He tries to get Coco and Hootie to deliver projects constantly ahead of schedule, usually with positive results. He hates change in the organization and is always fighting policy changes out of fear of the change itself. He is comfortable with his position, his benefits package, and his salary. Due to retiring in a few years, he does not see the need to climb the corporate ladder any further choosing instead to help Coco and Hootie achieve their goals. Hootie is a college student who got a job as an intern at the company. Hootie is a senior working towards a business marketing degree. She is hardworking and efficient, a self-starter. She does not need very much attention to keep her on track. She is very eager to please and always makes sure to be on the manager's good side. She is good at coming up with good ideas and being a good team member. 
She is working to keep a job with the company after she graduates. Hootie also makes sure she gives her all and nothing less. She doesn't stop at a job until it looks perfect and is done perfectly. During the first episode of our show, we will be in an office setting where Coco the Koala Bear will be hired as the new manager of operations at Management Inc. Being that she's a brand new hire, Coco initially struggles with the thought that she will have to earn everyone's respect as well as needing to learn the processes, procedures, and equipment that the ink company utilizes on a daily basis. It is in Coco's nature to always be ambitious and to try to overcome any obstacle in her way, but this challenge will be her toughest one yet. Luckily for her, Willie the Whale volunteers his own time to help her with the training of Management Inc.'s main operations. Coco is extremely thankful for Willie's support, which also helps her gain extra confidence in facing her new team. Using her interpersonal skills and formalization approach, Coco manages to win over her subordinates' respect and truly earn her position as their new leader. During the second episode, Coco will be faced on utilizing the resources in the office. When Coco came in, she was told that the old manager had a bunch of different resources she ordered. New computers, tablets, organization equipment, etc. in the back, collecting dust. Also, the old manager before Coco had some office space not being utilized. Coco came up with a plan that would help build up the company using all the resources the company has. He brings the team together to ask for the opinions on what they should do with the empty rooms. Right now, Willie and Samson are sharing an office and Thomas is using a really old computer. While Hootie has her own office and a new computer that the old manager bought. After hearing what everyone has to say, Coco comes up with a plan to make everyone happy. Episode 3 Thomas sees that new employees are not happy with the current retention strategy benefits package and detects that a change in policy is coming, which infuriates him. Seasoned employees at Management Inc. such as him always prefer generous health insurance packages over less time off with pay. Now, with a new generation of employees coming up, Thomas has found that the new workforce is not spending as much on health benefits, but they take more time off. Thomas has two vacations scheduled per year and has plenty of accrued time off, but he enjoys his current health benefits package, which is very generous. Willie, while part of the older employees group, understands the new generation's need for more time off and wants to agree to the change. He is also aware that employees like Thomas may not agree to the change and does resist it. Willie is now stuck between generations of employees. In this week's episode, Coco is in charge of evaluating employees' performances. Willie wants Coco to do these evaluations because he wants to see how she can handle this task, therefore evaluating Coco in the process. After much thought, Coco decides to use the 360-degree feedback system so that on top of her personal evaluations of her team members, she also gathers feedback from her team to see how they all think each other is doing. Coco uses BARS, Behaviorally Anchored Rating Scales, to effectively evaluate each team member. Once Coco finishes her evaluations, she gives them to Willie and he is very impressed. In the fifth episode of our show, the characters will focus on the use of a differentiation strategy in order to make Management Inc. stand out in the industry and gain competitive advantage. Willie initially came up with an idea to try and offer a different type of customer service for Management Inc.'s clients by providing a how-to video with each initial ink order for each new customer. Willie believes that he will gain competitive advantage for his company. So Willie decides to designate the sample layout of the video to Coco's department, after which she has her team film their own how-to guide for loading ink cartridges into different printers. The team is not thrilled about the idea of additional work, especially Samson, but they end up eventually pulling off an impressive production of the video. 
Once Willie sees the final product, he is highly impressed and decides to give Coco's entire department a small bonus for their efforts. Episode 6 will reflect on a new operational plan for Coco's team that she implemented herself. She wants to see if it's possible to use recycled ink cartridges made in the United States as opposed to continuing to purchase new cartridges from China. The reason Coco wants to implement this new operational plan for her department is because she would like to see if the company can save some money on using a recycled product. She puts Hootie in charge of researching potential suppliers and in no time he was able to find a local company that could provide management ink with recycled ink cartridges. Thomas is excited about this temporary change because he is eco-friendly conscious and now he wants to see if he can possibly pitch a new marketing tactic to Coco relating to the concept of going green. Luckily for Thomas, Coco loves his idea. The last and final episode, episode 7, has to deal with the concepts of planning. What happens is Coco and her team build a community that they can live at. Also, a place where they can gather a bunch of food that will get them through the winter because they know that the trees and fruits are going to die. They don't want to starve through the winter. On one terrible stormy night, a horrible storm falls in, destroying all their hard work. All their food was gone, all their houses destroyed, and they were left with no sources to gather food from. Coco and her team had to come up with a solution on their toes so they would be able to last and survive. They came up with a plan to leave that town and move to a new town that had plenty of resources and places to sleep. Also, it gave them a nice new office for the Management Incorporated to work out. Our team leader will allocate responsibilities among team members and arrange team meetings. Our writers will write material for our episodes. Our filmmakers and video editors will film said episodes at our meetings and then edit the videos for the best possible quality. Management Inc. Corporated will be going through quite a few different challenges throughout this series. The interactions between Coco, Hootie, Willie, Samson, and Thomas will define their characters. It is our hope that the audience will connect with and learn from our characters as they go through these workplace challenges.